Hey everyone, welcome back. Coach David here at Results Inc. again. And yes, I'm talking about procrastination. It seems that rather than putting it off anymore, I just can't get enough of the subject. It is fascinating. So today's procrastination archetype is the avoidant procrastinator. Now, these avoiders can find themselves running away from the discomfort of going through with a task that they find either to be unpleasant or that has really high stakes. Perhaps that's a difficult conversation with a loved one, or maybe even it's just stepping onto the scales. Avoiders are almost always too focused on what others might think. They run away because of their fear of failure, or sometimes even a fear of success. After all, by succeeding, you might raise everyone else's expectations of you next time. They would much rather allow others to think that they lack effort rather than ability. So they run away from the task and avoid putting in any effort. Okay, so I didn't get a great grade in my exam, but it doesn't matter because I wasn't even trying. Now, do we have any solutions for this particular type of procrastinator? Of course we do. We've got a couple coming up right now. First of all, avoiding an unpleasant task is totally understandable. But why not try combating this by identifying the long-term benefits of completing the task itself? Maybe it's going to get you closer to a long-term goal. Another way to make a task more enjoyable is to identify the unpleasant consequences of avoiding it. Oh my god, my, god, my boss is going to ask me in front of everyone if I've completed that task and I'm going to hate having to say no. Secondly, it is all about mindset as so many things are. Success is a great thing and not something to be feared or ashamed of. And try to reframe failure too. It's a chance to learn and improve. No more, no less. Just focus on doing the best job you can and spend less time thinking about what others think of you. Next week, decisional procrastinators, the third. And if you haven't identified yourself, tune in and see if you fall into camp number three.